Brent Sully from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the box jump to depth drop. It's a great plyometric exercise to just work on general triple extension, teaching landing mechanics, and really trying to make sure we can stick those landings in a good athletic position. So what you're gonna need is some kind of plyometric box, something to jump on, um, and then a little bit of space to jump off of the box. So the reason I like this drill in particular the box jump is pretty easy for athletes to get. It's not very hard. You jump as high as you can and you land on the box. But we want to make sure that they're landing correctly. So when they do that, we want to make sure that their hips are higher than their knees. They're landing in an athletic based position. Uh, basically, that means hips are going to be kind of pushed back. Knees are going to be unlocked. And if something was happening in front of them, they could catch a basketball or go change direction. And that's essentially what we mean from an athletic position. We don't want them landing with their chest between their knees, which many times I can only have the ability to even do it. But essentially, you'll see athletes land like this on a box and we don't want to do that right so the death drop part is where we're going to step off and then mimic that landing position but theoretically this box is going to be higher than what they can actually jump so the landing forces that they're going to get from the depth drop are going to exceed what they normally be able to do which can be a bad thing but as long as the athlete is trained properly how to land and what the goal of the activity is everything's going to be okay as long as this box isn't like 60 feet tall right so sorry 60 inches five feet tall but anyways we want to make sure when they land that they're landing in that athletic position and that gravity is going to pull them down they're just going to get their bodies used to those forces because ideally that's what we want to get them to jump right so usually when it comes to these drills i'm trying to pick a box that's going to be maybe six maybe nine inches taller than they possibly would ever jump uh, i don't think there's a really a reason to go much more than a foot um, i think a foot would probably be about the cap for our youth athletes and if you're working with elite athletes the shock method and different things are different thing to consider but that's a topic for a different day so what we're gonna do from our box jump feet are gonna be a little bit wider than our hips um, so we don't want to be way out here but we do also don't want our feet together we want to be in a good athletic position so basically shoulder width we're gonna jump as high as we can stick our landing on the box here so notice that as I'm landing hips are higher than knees I'm in an athletic position I wasn't driving my feet down super hard it was somewhat soft but it was not so soft that you couldn't hear me but it also wasn't one of those like where you can tell kids are just trying to drive their feet down as hard as they can I landed in a good athletic position now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step off the box I'm not gonna jump I'm just gonna take one foot I'm gonna kind of step off like I'm stepping off a plank and then I'm gonna land and stick that position ideally as close to this position that I had up here but this force is gonna be harder so we're going to find the position that we want and then try to duplicate it here boom notice i'm still saying hips above knees athletic stance i come back to the start position do the exact same thing again hips hands are high come low it's going to help me break my hips as high as i can boom stick it come to the end stick again so as you can see those positions are very similar so what we're wanting it is a little bit taxing from the step off perspective. So for an exercise like this, I really like three to five sets if you work from three to five reps, depending upon what we got going on our time of year. If I'm working with this other athlete, it's probably an athlete that needs to work on their landing mechanics and work on absorbing those forces. So if you ever see those athletes, when they go to jump, they go to squat, their butt just keeps falling, 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 falling. We wanna to try to prevent that. So what we're trying to do from this drill is teach them as they land here to stick that position this should be an easier position to stick than that this is to be honest on their box height as they go to land we want them to create that stiffness so they can stick that position that way when they come down for rebounds or they go to jump and hit something and they actually land they're going to land in a good safe position they're not going to land with their knees collapsing in butt going between their ankles chest falling down any of those things so this is almost not only just a performance exercise obviously we want to improve triple extension vertical jump all that kind of great stuff but it's also working on the mechanic side of jumping which is then in turn going to keep our athletes safer help them jump higher and do all those things. So if you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Have a great day.